Hi guys, welcome to this course lesson which is for Endgame by Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran and Future. I'm going to teach you how to play the entire song right here right now on YouTube. So if you want to learn it, just keep on watching. Here we go. Okay, so we're starting with the intro right here. I want you to have a look above the piano for the chords. We've got F major 7, C sus 2, G, D minor 7, and C. And if you don't know what that means, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to teach you all of the notes you have to play anyway. But if you want to learn a little bit more about chords, I've got over 200 chords in my free chords course on Skillshare via the link in the description box down below. You will learn well over 200 chords, including these ones. But for now, I want you to have a look at the chords, and we're going to start with the left hand. And the left hand is going to play octaves, okay? And an octave simply means you play the same note twice, once with your pinky and once with your thumb. So like this, okay? The octaves we have to play are very easy to remember because look, they're above the piano. F major 7, we're simply going to play an F octave. C sus 2, we're going to play a C octave. G, we're going to play a G octave. Okay, etc, etc. For D, we're going to play a D octave, and for C again, we'll play a C octave. So the left hand will be playing an F octave, and play along with me here. A C octave. A G octave. Back up to D, and then C. Okay, and the way you're going to play that, the rhythm is like this. Okay, now this will be a bit more apparent when we do the right hand as well, okay? For the right hand, we're going to play A, C, E to complete that F major 7 chord. Look, if we have an F right here, we've got F major 7. We're already playing that on the left hand, so we just have to play A, C, E. Then a G, C, D for C sus 2 and G, B, D for G. Okay, so A, C, E followed by G, C, D, G, B, D. And now A, C and F, because we're already playing a D octave in the left hand, so we're completing that D minus 7 right there, and then simply G, C, E in the right hand for C. Okay, so right is playing A, C, E, G, C, D, G, B, D, and then A, C, F, and G, C, E. So let's play all of that once. And now let's add in the left hand as well, which will make it sound a lot more familiar, right here. Let's do once more, but now slowly. There we go. Okay, so that is for the intro. Now I want to head on to the post-chorus, which is very weird, but we actually saw with the post-chorus before we have the verse, okay? So trust me on this, we're heading to the post-chorus right now. Big reputation, big reputation. Okay, so not that hard to play. We will have six chords above the piano. For now, let's have a look at that post-chorus, and if we look above the piano, we see six chords right there. Again, sit tight and relax, we're gonna go through the chords one by one, but I want you to have a look at the chords. D minor seven, A minor seven, G, and then D minor seven, C, and G. Okay, so there's only four different chords because D minor 7 and G are being repeated in this section, okay? So I want to start out with the left hand and again it's quite easy, we play octaves, a D octave, an A octave and a G octave and then again a D octave, a C octave and a G octave. Remember that the left hand octave is the same as the chord above the piano, so we can see it quite clearly D, A, G, 
D and then C, G, okay? If you're having trouble to play the octaves in the left hand, you can also play a single note. Right here, D, A, G, D, and then play C, G. That's all there is to it for the post chorus. We play A, C, F for D minor 7. Look, right here, A, C, D and F for D minor 7, but we're already playing a D in the left hand, so we don't have to play it in the right, okay? And then we're gonna play G, A, C and E for A minor 7. I do like to add um, the A in there, okay? And then G, B, D. So we have A, C, F, a G, A, C and E, and then G, B, D. Then we have to play D minor 7 again, so we play A, C, F again. And then we have to play C, so G, C, E, and then G again, G, B, D. Okay, so A, C, F, G, A, C, E, G, B, D. Then A, C, F, G, C, E, G, B, D. Okay? Combining that with left, it will sound really nice, right? This sounds a lot nicer than just the chord in the right. So, combine it with left, let's do it slowly. Right there, okay? Let's do it one more time, rather slow. And see if you can play along here, okay? Now you can of course apply nice patterns, something like this. I'm just making something up right there. It's basically just drumming on the piano. So then what we do is we play exactly the same throughout the verse, okay? So future is singing right there, you said dope, don't overdose, uh, I'm so soaked, I need a toast, blah, 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 blah. All that part right there, the chords are exactly the same as what we've been doing. And then we head on to the pre-chorus where Taylor is starting again with I don't want to touch you, I don't want to be, just another X love you don't want to see. Okay, so we're going to do that bit right now. Okay, so I played through the whole verse because we're doing it a little different in the first section than the second, as you may have been able to hear, okay? Please have a look above the piano. We've got F major 7, E minor 7, D minor 7, and then E minor 7 again. So the first time you just play F major 7, E minor 7, D minor 7, and then you stop right there, hold D minor 7 for twice as long. Then you go back and you play the whole thing. So you play F major 7, E minor 7, D minor 7, and E minor 7. It will all come clear to you very soon. For the left hand, very easy. F octave, E octave, and then a D octave. Okay? Now here's how to time that. Okay, this is when we hold the D a little bit longer. And now we go again. And now we have to move back up to E. Okay, for the right hand, we're simply filling out the rest of the chord. We play F, and so we still have to play A, C, E. When we play E, we still have to play G, B, D, and when we play D, we still have to play F, A, C. That means that this whole thing is moving down, Luke. Like that. Some nice jazz chords for you right there. Okay, so the right hand is playing A, C, E, G, B, D, and then F, A, C for the first time. And then the second time you're gonna play A, C, E, G, B, D, F, A, C, but you go back up to G, B, D, okay? So if you put it all together, let me do it slowly and play along with me right here, here we go.
Okay, and then what we do is we start with the chorus again, okay? That was basically also the intro. Chorus intro was kind of the same thing, okay? Then we do the second verse with Ed Sheeran singing right there, okay? You already know how to do that because it's the same as the first verse, okay? We remember D minus 7 and then the A minus 7 and then D minus 7 again and then C and G, okay? Then we get the pre-chorus again, which we just did, okay, right here. Okay, that thing right there. Then we get the chorus again, okay. Then we get the post-chorus again. We did that in the beginning of the lesson because this whole song is a little weirdly built up, okay. But again, that's the same. D minus 7, A minus 7, G, D minus 7, and C. G, whoops, G right there, okay? Then the third time you play the verse, okay? And then we're finishing up with the chorus by playing that bit twice. And that's it, that's the entire song. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it 